G'day, Corey from Romark here today. I'm excited to show you our new laser systems that we have in the showroom, the Flux laser system. Today we're going to be doing a brass plaque that we've already cleaned and put some Surmark on. The Flux laser that we'll be using today is our Beambox Pro 50 watt. Uh, we'll be showing bits of the Beam Studio software, how easy it is to set up a plaque, to set up an engraving by choosing the particular layers and making sure that we've got the correct power and speed settings. Uh, the Flux lasers are a really easy laser to use. They've got some great features on them uh, where you can do a camera layout of the whole bed area uh, for positioning. Uh, also, it has a manual focus, which is great when you're cutting the same thickness over and over. You just set your focal length and away you go. Uh, the zero is easy to find. You can also put a rotary attachment in the flux lasers, they come in four different models. You've got the BMO, which is a 30 watt, has the rotary and a small A4 size. Then you go to the beam box, which is a 40 watt. Uh, a lot of times we're using the sticky mat in these for doing trophies, plaques and awards on your trophy flex, flexi brass, laser lights. Also, you've got the beam box pro, which is exactly the same machine, just in a larger format, the 600 by 375, uh, which is great for the trophy plaque industry size again. Lastly, in the flux laser range, we've got the Hexa, great size, 60 watt machine, and that has a rotary attachment that can do 120 diameter. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go on our Beambox Pro 50 watt in the showroom and show you how to laser up a Surmark brass plaque. Well, we're going to have a look at the flux laser. Um, just going to open the lid. Have a look, we've got a sticky mat in here. We've been playing with the Seckler mat on our cutting grid. Gonna put our sticky mat in there. Okay, folks, we're gonna have a look at the Beam Studio software and how we created the plaque for the Anzac Day on brass. First of all, I went here to image to import. I then went into where I had the, the DXF file, which is there, the plaque, I selected that. I opened and brought that in. It's come in, then what I've done is I've selected that and I've gone into the position and I know that 14 millimeters on my left is at zero position on this particular laser and zero on my Y. This being X, this being Y, it came in. Once it came in, I had to do a break apart, which would have been here. And then what I've done is I've broken this into layers now. And I created the layers here in the layer option. So I've called layer one, my soldier left, layer two, my sunrise, layer three, my soldier right, and layer four, my base. And I can tell that now by clicking on here, going into layer, if I turn the base off, it goes off. Back on, if I turn my left, right soldier off, he's off, back on. If I so rising sun, off and on, that one off and on. So for each layer, I must select what the power and speeds are for the particular material after I focus the laser and put the plaque in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my soldier layer. I've done a custom, which is power 70 of a 50 watt and speed 80 millimeters so that I can get a nice deep burn. That is this one here. So if I just go here now and turn all these other layers off, you can sort of see what I've done is this, this one here. I've set him up as a layer. I've come in here, I've selected my metal and I've done that. And as I've done that, then that is saved here as that particular layer. And I've done all those for my rising sun and my soldier. My base plate, because it's a cutout plate, I don't need to have it. I've just put it there for positioning and put it onto base plate layer four doesn't matter about my settings on base plate. See so if you have a look, I've got a very low power setting because I know I'm going to turn that off. That's not going to be going to the laser. All right, so pretty much we're going to load our plate now. We're going to load this brass plate, which has already been surmarked, into our machine for position on our sticky mat. I've already zeroed this machine, so I know where the zero is. But now I need to um, set the surface, so I'm driving my head over, bringing the surface tool down, manually coming down and winding the machine down, the bed down, uh, making sure that it's in focus, because the flux machine is a manual focus. 
which is great when you're doing a lot of singles because you can quickly refocus. Bring it up so it touches, that's touching there. That's good. Bring it up just a little bit more. Bring it back over here. All right, that's good, happy with that. And we're pretty much good to go, so we shut our lid. Hit go, and it's gonna do layer one, layer two, layer three. So away we go. Please don't hesitate to contact Romark Australia for a Flux brochure. Uh, you can come in for a demo in our showroom. We can do application demos, laser demos. Come in and check out the new Flux laser at Romark Australia.